Hello, welcome to this video. Today, we're looking at quizzes and two new question types. If you want to find out more about how to use quizzes, then click on the banner on the top right hand corner and you can watch my full playlist on how to use it. So I'm going to go into my question library and jump to one of the quizzes I've already created. I'm then going to edit that And when we go to new questions, we can see that available within the subscription model for quizzes, so not available in the free model, but within the subscription model, there are now two different question types. We've got audio response and video response. The other function that we'll also see available is if we dive into an open-ended question now, you now see that you have the option to record audio as part of your question or to create a little video. So if we do the video option, you can upload your video from, from YouTube, or you could add it from Google Drive. So they're the two options there, and you can see you've got various ones you can upload as well, different formats. But I think that opens up lots of choice there. You could have a, a little video clip that you've got there, which they then listen to, or you could have an audio question, which just is, is useful for accessibility. So let's just go back then. And let's start editing that again. And this time we're gonna focus on just the new question types. So let's dive in and look at audio response. Uh, we could type in our question in here. So um, I'm just gonna go for something simple and easy to type. Right, so linking to my F1 theme. So what is your favorite circuit? I've got Grammarly installed as an extension. You wanna find out more about using Grammarly with uh, Chrome or Microsoft Edge, then click on the banner in the top right hand corner and you can watch my video on that. So that just makes a suggestion. So I've got my question there. Um, and what I like about the audio option is you can choose how long a response you want from your student, but it just means that you can take something which would have been a, a very easy question to answer, but by adding the why and asking for that more detailed explanation, it's just stretching it, making it slightly more challenging for them to respond. So we could give one minute response and then we can click save. So that's the the audio question response type. And then if we do another new question, we're gonna do the video response, same sort of thing. We can type in our who is your oh, helps you type correctly. And why? So same sort of thing. Uh, but this time we're going to have a video response and we're going to give a minute again and save. So that's what you can do. As I say, you can add audio and video based questions if you wish, but we can save that. So we've now got our questions there. And what we can do is if we save that, we can then have a preview. So we've got our preview there. So just wait for that to load up and then we can have a look at what the question, uh, those audio questions look like when the student views them. So I don't know why it's taking so long, here we go. So, We've got the draw questions, first of all. You want to know how to make use of the draw questions. Uh, click on the link beneath this video in the description and you can watch my video on making use of the draw questions there. So let's do that and submit. Now, unfortunately, people have asked on, on previous videos, um, uh, is it possible to mark the drawing ones? And it doesn't appear so at the moment. So it's very much a case of uh, just you viewing what the students have responded as opposed to giving them marks. 